you want to avoid surgery for your bunion, um, make sure you watch this video. I'm going to give you the number one thing that we find causes or contributes significantly to people's bunions. Um, and it's, uh, we, see, we see 200 bunions a week usually through our clinics. And so we see stacks and stacks and stacks of bunions. And this issue comes up all the time. So the, one of the biggest things is that you don't have to give up. You don't have to give up footwear. You don't have to stop being active. You don't have to stop wearing the shoes that you love. The key is to wear shoes that are wide enough through the toe box. The bit really, 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 really important. So what I would say is that if it's a runner, you really may have to make sure that it's wide enough. And if you feel your runners are a little bit tight, try taking out the inner sole. Um, keep in mind, that's not giving you any support. So try taking out the inner sole. If it's a nicer style of shoe or like a leather shoe like this, what I would say is try and get the shoe stretched. Either take it to a bookmaker and get it stretched. If you're a patient here, get us to stretch it out for you. That's a bunion stretcher. We pop that in there and stretch it out. But the, what we do find is, and what's been really shown, usually the culprit is a pair of runners um, or a pair of sort of uh, casual trainers as such. And if they're too tight, they will accelerate the bone growth through that bunion area. So just make sure you take that into account. Um, if, you were, if, if we can help you with anything, please let us know. Um, if you'd like to find out more information, go to sydneyfootsolutions.com.au. We also have a, uh, a special bunion assessment offer, 65% off a, a, an initial bunion assessment if you're a new patient. So any more tips, go to our website and check it out. Thanks for watching.